Sayyidah Zainab is known as Alima Ghayr Mu'allim and yeah. Fahima Ghayr Mufahim. Uh, what, what do these mean? I mean, what are they trying to indicate and describe about Sayyidah Zainab? Yeah, these are the famous words of Imam Zain al Abidin alayhi salam. Imam Zain al Abidin, in his praise of Sayyidah Zainab, his auntie, said in the famous lines, Amma Zainab, anti alima ghayru mu'allama, wa fahima ghayru mufahama. My auntie Zainab, you are learned without having been taught and a scholar without requiring explanation these are very deep lines from imam zain al-abidin i personally believe the greatest accolade ever given to say the zainab was these lines from imam zain al-abidin that my auntie zainab you are learned without having been taught someone asked the question how can someone be learned without having been exactly. taught and the scholars have all tried in their own way to try and understand what is the meaning of these words from Imam Zain al Abidin alayhi salam. What is the Imam intent on saying? We know that even the Imams of Ahlul Bayt alayhi salam, there were certain things the Imams learnt from the previous Imam. There are other things the Imams acquired from inspiration from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You see, you have two forms of knowledge. Maybe there's other forms which we can discuss on another occasion. Yes. But there are two forms of knowledge when it comes to the Imams of Ahlul Bayt One form of knowledge is what? Acquiring. Is for example, acquiring. Let's say mm -hmm. Imam Ali ibn Abi Talib salam, says to Imam Al-Hasan, the heart of a youth is like an uncultivated piece of land. Whatever I throw on it, okay. whatever you throw on it, it accepts. Therefore, I try to Make sure that I mold your heart before it's hardened. So you learned from my example and applied them into your life. Imam Ali salam, would give many lessons, would give many examples, would give many pieces of wisdom to Imam Al Hasan. Salam. Imam Al Hasan salam, would also give towards Imam Al Hussein. We talk of this type of knowledge as kasb. Yes. Okay. This type of knowledge an Imam inherits from another Imam. And that one Imam passes it on to the other. Then there is a second form of knowledge. And that is when you receive inspiration from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because the amount of obedience you have shown Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala becomes what? Becomes the voice by which you speak.